Welcome back to the channel to Satisfactory guys and thank you for joining me into this episode as well. This will be episode 42 if I'm not mistaken. Uh, we are building a nuclear power plant. We're gonna have two of them in here. We made all the miners, all the extractors, all the basic material except the uranium. We didn't brought that one. Now we're gonna get to the composites so let me share with you satisfactorycalculator.com uh we did this in here all of this is done all the miners smelters foundries constructors majigis uh even the sulfuric acid we got it right here we're not gonna do the blender with the uranium cell until the end we're gonna focus on this guys so let's start making this a limiters is gonna Take quick wire copper sheet 40 and 20. All of this we are producing double because I'm paranoid like that and I know that we're gonna have to take care of the waste and the waste will require some of these materials. I don't know how many, but we got the logistics in place to support just about everything here in the swamp, so it's gonna be just amazing. Uh, assembler we're gonna need two units per minute, okay let's close this guy back into the game so it's taking quick wire and copper sheets what do we have in here in here copper sheets in here is quick wire amazing let's just plant down an assembler somewhere around here uh, in front of this guy for example just to connect it simply straight we're gonna come around with this caterium in here i don't want to cross one two one two eh, i've missed one jesus christ in there please amazing those will be able to hop because we're gonna need them so in here we're gonna make AI limiters for per minute if I'm not mistaken. Let's take a look at the let me take a look here. Two units per minute is required. Two units per minute we're gonna make. That's it. No more, no less. This is gonna be the only buffer that we're gonna have. I think if not, I'm gonna put a small box in front of it yeah let, let, let's just do that okay we're gonna put it like this and we're gonna have those two stored in here bring the power in okay apparently that one has to be marked too uh this guy will start making those air limiters just amazing if you ask me it's gonna be perfect now back to the drawing board back to the planner we made this guy let's drag it in here because it's done this one is the next stators we're gonna use wire and steel pipe we need three per minute okay close this back into the game uh wiring pipes are right in here well, that makes me want to come with the Ethereum in a different direction, but let me just put it in here, align it with the wire at least. Yeah, my uh, my beautiful belt that I worked so hard will have to go away. We'll bring those in and worry about the Ethereum right now, basically. Uh, let's just bring it in here. Hop it one. Hop it one. Bring it in here. Hop it one. And then bring it in here. Basically. Good stuff. It's gonna be just amazing. Telling you. Okay. So this one is gonna make I forget what stators free per minute. got them right in here somewhere 
This one is the normal recipe. Three per minute, more than enough for our needs. I'm gonna plant a box in front of it, just like the other one. It's gonna be just amazing. Going back to our plan on satisfactorycalculator.com. We can drag this one up. Okay, now. Uh, let's take care of this one. It's taking s what? Steel pipe and concrete. We're gonna do 1.2 encased industrial beams. So steel pipes are in here. Concrete is in here. Not exactly the best uh, alignment ever. Nevertheless, we're gonna align it with the concrete and with the other one. Gonna bring the concrete in. Gonna bring the steel pipes. Sorry. You gotta come with me. Uh, right through here, please. Uh, I don't want them too much in the front of these ones because I might use the other exits. So straight until here. And only then turn. Uh, until here, straight. Perfect. And then descend them in here. Is it that straight? No. Good stuff. Power to you, my friend. You're gonna make in case industrial pipes. 1.2 per minute. Because that's what is required of you. Thank you very much. You will have a small buffer in front of you. Just fill it up for us, please. Amazing. Good stuff. Back to our planner in here. Uh, I think you were with the planner in your face all the time, weren't you? Because I just clicked on it and it disappeared. So, what I did, I planted this guy in here. Connected straight to the concrete. And then I brought that steel pipe. Initially, I wanted to cross it through here, but it was way in front of those boxes. I might use those other exit for sure. So I brought it from here up straight. Uh, well, I meant it to be straight. Apparently, it wasn't as straight as I wanted it to be. So we're gonna bring it straight in here and then lift it up. That is straight right now and that will give us the pipes that we need in here. We're gonna have our 1.2 beams per minute. Okay, put that in front of it. We're already storing the first in case beam. It's just amazing. We have some air limiters, we have some stators. Everything is good. Now, this time, I'll put again the planner in your face. We have made these guys. Okay, 1.2 in case beams per minute. We can drag them here. Those will go into apparently the final manufacturer. We gotta take care of this one right now. This is gonna take the AI limiter and the stators and make electromagnetic control rods. Two per minute. So let's make sure we close that this time. So these two are gonna come in here and they're gonna make electromagnetic control rods. Uh, check, check, double check, two per minute. Perfect. Two per minute. Good stuff. That one in here, that one in there. Looks just amazing. Bring the power in. Power to this guy. Put a box in front of it because we love the boxes. Why not? You do realize those are no longer needed. But if that one gets full, this one gets backed up. This guy will start to get full. Those guys will get full. And only that, those guys. Whatever. It's gonna take a while. Good. We solved another piece of the puzzle. This piece of the puzzle is solved. 
we gotta put down the final manufacturer and then we're gonna work our way back to this blender and the uranium so let's put this guy down making 0.5 uranium fuel rods per minute by the time i put it down of course i will forget what can you expect so it's gonna take this and something else i don't know what else uh, I think we're gonna put our stuff in there, so let's just plug it in here. Uranium fuel rod, encased uranium cell. Those come from the blender. The blender used that sulfuric acid and some other stuff from here, I think. Uh, in a manufacturer, encased beams, 1.2 per minute. I think they're here. So let's just come with the belt in here. Is it straight? No, it's not. Well, it will have to turn in here. Good stuff. That one can be connected in there. So you got the electromagnetic. You got the this encased beams. All that you need is the encased uranium cells. Good stuff. Uh, we're not gonna put the box on it. This guy goes straight into the power plants. We don't care about it. Now, going back to our planner in here, we're working this guy, which is gonna put 0 0.4. I don't know if I said 0 0.4. I'm gonna check. We solved this line and this line. Now we gotta take care of this line. This, in case uranium cell, 20 per minute, it says comes from a manufacturer okay no comes from a blender excuse me excuse me please please you'll have to excuse me uh let's put down that blender uh it's gonna take that sulfuric acid and some other stuff let's try and put it in here somewhere i don't know i would like it to be somewhat aligned one of the holes at least for that so uh pip, like that i think yeah like that good stuff let's bring a pipe inside of it do we have sulfuric acid we got some perfect those pipes are not even full at this point is it straight magic happened right in there it happened just like that so encased uranium cell this guy is done with the sulfuric with 15 concrete and with the uranium but we're not gonna need 25 we said only 20 let me double check that yes it is only 20 did i put 0 0.4 into this one i did perfect so we're gonna need 12 concrete which guess what it's right in here it's gonna have to hop on the other side so um, and the uranium uranium we're gonna bring it through here yeah let's just let's just do it like this so this is the line i'm interested in one to bring it up even if it clips through that one we don't really care and it's done and we connected it to the power what do you know so this guy is gonna give us eight sulfuric acid extra which will be used with that sulfuric acid in there basically it's gonna return into the system uh we gotta put in here cross and then we gotta put a pipe from here going around of course it ain't gonna be pretty because it's not aligned so let's just bring it from here try to make it pretty one two we did succeed making it pretty the only issue is that that guy is pumping through here as well so we're gonna have a backup problem if we're not putting a valve in here so we're just gonna put it so the sulfuric acid only can go through there in this direction not in the other direction we will not limit it because there is no point in it normally this one will never fail 
looking amazing. You can actually see the pressure here. Man, the details in these games. Gotta love it. Not in these games. In this game. Because the game satisfactory is something just amazing. Okay. We are putting in here 20 in case we ourselves still have to come in here. Uh, let's just bring them in with a Mark 1 because... Uh, no. This one will be a Mark 5. Because uh, guess what? Highly radioactive thing is. Actually, this one is uh, more like medium radioactive. Uh, the guy that we bring right now from that cave is gonna be highly radioactive. So, back to our planning here. We made this blender, okay? These are the eight move, please. Sulfuric acid that are circulating in and out. We're gonna need 40 uranium per minute. The rest is coming in. After that is going into our manufacturer, making those fuel rod, which will go into the power plants. Now, before putting this gap and connecting it, we'll have to put down uh, a couple of things. A couple of things being our two power plants, nuclear, and the, uh, the oil input from here. And of course, they're gonna take some water. I don't remember how much, don't ask me. And of course, they're gonna need a place to store. We're gonna need a place to store all that waste, which is highly, highly radioactive. You can feel it even with the hazmat suit and with the filters on. Nothing funny about it. Let me tell you that. So let's start by putting down those two because the biggest uh this is the entrance side so we can have the entrance in here both for water and for stuff because it's coming from there or we can put them in here you know just split between these two but then we're not gonna use that platform which is a pity if you ask me but it's okay because that platform Maybe we're going to use it for uh, destroying, for treating all that uranium waste. I meant that to be zoom, my friend. Why isn't my zoom working perfectly? Okay, I'm going to miss one in there, of course. Good stuff. Let's make our two power plants in here. So this one, I wanted to split into. So, uh, I don't know. I honestly don't know. I'm going to leave one space in the front, one space to the right. So, it's going to have to be in there and the next one in there, of course. This production here will be split between the two of them. Equal shares. Is it aligned? It is. Good. Mark one. Uh, radioactive stuff. Mark 5, not aligned, want to a little quick end. why not? Because that one is the exit, that's why be edging, okay. Mark 5. Perfect. Uh, entrance, please. Good stuff. Those are the inputs, okay, the inputs for the cells, for the uranium cells, field rods, whatever. Now we gotta solve the entrances with the water. Yes, these guys are gonna take some water per minute. In here it says the current amount of water in the building. Not interested in that. We're interested in this. 240 cubic meters per minute, each one of them. So we're gonna need 480. Uh, that makes me wanna put down of these guys how should we do this let's put the pipage first what do you say you do agree with me right 
Okay, so we just lost engines. Those are aligned. Uh, being 240, 240 was it? 480. This guy is gonna have to be a mark too. Mm hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna push it from here. So that one has to go. Uh, mark the pipe, please. Come. I don't know. I don't know how I wanna do this. Let's put uh, the support in here. On this line, I said uh, a little upper. Can I? No? Okay, in that case, we're gonna use the stackable pipeline. Uh, two of them, if possible. I think that would be the right height. I'm gonna put another one in here, of course. Put our mark to pipeline in here. Or it almost said belt, but I escaped. Align this guy. Align this guy. 214 inch. Uh, being that is 240, I would like to pump from two sides. So I would like to have in here two water extractors and two in here. I think that's gonna be the best scenario ever that we're gonna have so this one comes down in here into a cross so let's put down our cross first right at the edge perfect uh sorry bring that guy in there and now let's plant two of these guys in here uh, you could put one in the front and one to the side, but uh uh, that ain't gonna happen. One in here, oh, almost pressed the wrong button. That one is not quite aligned, I don't know what it's aligning itself, but it is what it is. One in there, one in there. Mark one should be enough, but I'm gonna make a mark two just for the fun of it. Of course, we'll have to be straight. going nuclear in here we won't have something that is not straight i need to bring that power in like right now because i want these guys to be filled up all the way these guys to be filled up all the way so they're taking one two three four like five so two on each side three on each side uh, we made the drop of one two tiles no no right right from there it's like one to three tiles so it's gonna be like one to three tiles in here uh yep just like that symmetrical just the way we love them and now uh, apparently we gotta break them from here i think this will do just fine grab one of those guys plant it in here excuse me just a second okay good stuff gonna put this one straight in here just like we did in the other side I think I gotta place them a little back because that pipe was not connecting very well good stuff put them both to the power into that power uh we're gonna need the other one this one is gonna come here because these two guys will have to be connected to the power as well what do you know so already full with water love it uh we're gonna Connect them already so that they'll have their connection. No power because they're not producing any. But we got the power on. Good stuff. So they are filled up. These guys will have to fill up as well. And they will. They will. No problem. Now apparently uh, we have all the exit figure exits figured 
all that we have to do it's make a waste deposit one exit it's in there because these guys don't have exits in the front what you know amazing uh they have their exits in here so one in here one in there it would have been nice to pass them through here and that's exactly what i'm gonna do even if my uh majig is gonna clip through that one the idea is to have them aligned let's see nope a little forward big how about in there perfect of course this guys i put a mark one but they're gonna be mark five i don't like that those two guys are crossing each other in there let's see if i can lift it up come on once twice amazing doesn't look good at all well i think my plan just went down the toilet uh gonna take this mark 5 in here bring it through the center up in here perfect gonna take this mark 5 in here bring it whatever in here And now we gotta figure out a place to put that waste until we're gonna be able to use it, which is gonna happen in some other episodes. Uh, I don't know how much waste we're gonna have. You gotta be careful when you're going like this, because at some point you're gonna reach the end of the world. Uh, you don't wanna get in there because you're gonna get killed. <laughs> and you don't wanna fall in this water as well, because there's a limit where it looks like water but it's void actually you don't want to play with that don't ask me how I know okay so we're gonna have an initial storage in here another one in here and then let's go up with them yeah I think that's the way to do it I hope I got enough of these guys. Uh, merger, please. Going forward. Perfect. Let's go. This uh, waste, you cannot sink it. In case you wonder. Good. They all live in here. I don't remember how what quantity of waste per minute we're gonna have but i'm sure we're gonna have some well i think it's about high time we bring it to this boy our whatever into this boy our 40 uranium per minute of course gonna have to be mark 5 don't wanna drag around the map radioactive stuff that's our target in there that's where i'm going uh see you in there huh i'm missing aluminum sheets well let's just try and do our best with what we have in here that's gonna be mark four I'm gonna run out of them uh after that we're gonna continue mark three then we're gonna put mark twos uh, finally in that cave i think we're gonna end up with mark ones gonna make a trip after this episode back to the base or the other them and uh, come back with some 
alto add aluminum sheets and modify this belt so that I can be a Mark V. Okay. I have to go up there. Let's see exactly where, because I don't remember. I think it's in here, but up. Oh no, it's down, it's in here. And the node, it's somewhere around here already. Radiation damage. Uh, lights, please. I don't remember what the node is. Deeper? No, it wasn't deeper. It wasn't right here. Oh, look, here it is. So let's just put the miner. Have you seen that idiot? Jesus Christ. Uh, production equipment. Okay. Uh, two of you, please. Mark one should be enough, actually. But we started uh, with Mark two. I'm gonna make it a Mark two. I said the uh, Mark 1 should be just fine. What did we need it? 40? Let me take a peek in here. 40, yes. Good stuff. Only 40 for you, mister. Um, what? I can make Mark 3 in here. Just want to get out of this key because it's a lot of radiation. Mark 2. Let me bring in the power. But I will not connect it yet. Because that will mean that this guy will piss radiation after me. And I'm not ready for it yet. Um, where was my uh, in there? Okay. Missing reinforced template. Unbelievable. Okay, I got 20 of these. Good stuff, I got marked once. Well, this is unacceptable. So, tell you what. Uh, I'm gonna stop me here. Make my way back to the base. Come back with Mark 5s and do this properly because this is unacceptable. I cannot have a build made out of five different stuff in here. Unacceptable, I'm telling you. No way. So, see you back in a bit. Okay, I'm back. So, this build, I think, it had to be a Mark 5. I bred a bunch of those uh, outlet sheets. Let's follow it and make sure all of it is Mark V. From here, starting to change. This is Mark V. That sunk into the water. Why is that? Was it so deep? May might have been. Or maybe I didn't just lift it up.
I think I had inside some crooked belts as well, yeah. This is Mark V. It is now. That one really doesn't need to be a Mark I. A Mark II. He can leave a Mark I forever. Now, let's get back. I move faster with the jetpack, so... On a Mark V belt, you can sprint very fast and then slide jump. Amazing. Best way to move around the map, if you ask me. Other than hybrid tube cannons. So we should have those uranium nuggets, whatever, coming in right about now. Because they're traveling pretty fast at the Mark V belt. We're gonna need in here 40 of them, so it's gonna take a minute to fill it up, plus the travel time. Then it's gonna take some time to make the K cells. After that, it's gonna take some time to make the uranium fuel rods. Uh, split them, so it's gonna make two at a time, it's gonna take a lot of minutes, as you can see. Come on, save it. And then it's gonna fill the one and the other one. So, yeah. Now, it's just a waiting game for us, you know. Uranium will have to come at some point. And I think I will not need this list. Uh, so this, it's actually done. It's not prep. It's nuclear power done. So, apparently I did my part, you're gonna have to do your part as well. Of course, if you enjoy this and if you wanna see more, just you being here watching this, it's enough, honestly. Would really like to be monetized and have those thousand subscribers, whatever, but you liking this video is more important for me than that. Apparently, we started building some casing cells, encased uranium cells, which is just amazing. Our first batch is coming up. They're moving quite fast, barely see them, more like a shadow. We're gonna need 50 in order to produce those um, rods. Look at them, how beautiful they are. Gonna see them better. I can make this one mark one for you because they're kind of beautiful, you know. He loves them. Let's admire them a little. Look at this. Look how beautiful they are. The attention to detail in this game is out of this one. One of the many, many, many reasons why I love this game. I love it. I don't even know how many hours I have in it. Uh, I think there are a few good hundreds. I don't even know how to make too much. Over 800, I think it is, something like that. Anyway, waiting for those uranium in case cells will bring it back when we're gonna have our first fuel rod done. We are almost there, guys. 96%, 97. It's gonna happen any minute now. Curious if it's gonna go left or right. It went right. Look at that. Amazing. The next one will be available in 150 seconds. Almost 3 minutes. But that looks amazing just amazing because this one is gonna start pissing up barrels but look at this plus 2500 megawatts okay it's gonna be just amazing and it's gonna consume 0 0.2 per minute i don't know where it's written but it is written somewhere don't remember where Yep, just amazing. 
our power output just jumped to 2500 in another 100 seconds or something like that if you grab that in your inventory you're gonna get burnt really fast so in about 100 seconds the other one will start up as well it's gonna be just fine the second one it's on her way the second rod there she goes up into this guy we go another jump two thousand and a half now at this point we're making twenty four thousand four hundred sixty five our consumption is 12, let's say 13,000. So we have like, what, 11,000 to play with? That is gonna be enough for uh, production of these pressure conversion cubes and nuclear pasta. Oh, by the way, this gate's almost finished. Nice. Uh, so. Um, we could. Bad big dolls. Excuse me, cut a late. Uh, but we're gonna need to deal with that one again. Because that, it's something real bad. We'll have to take all this and make it into plutonium fuel rods. And then. Um, think it but that of course is gonna be for another episode maybe the next one I don't know we'll see we will see looking forward to have the third in here uh, just to have it in here and see maybe it's gonna show me the waste output how much it is so that I can calculate what kind of production we're gonna need you know because uh, we're gonna need done it's going in oh just in time let's just put it that way so perfectly balanced nevertheless i have no idea how much is the waste output what is the quantity uh, it's gonna be quite tricky i'm gonna look satisfactorycalculator.com uh, in the meantime I just discovered a thingy this gate's pushing out 8 consuming 8 so in here normally we should make only 24 uh, I put it on 48 this one is gonna get filled at some point all of it and we'll block that pipe that guy will not be able to push it even through this valve so I think dropping down this so in here we need 24 uh, this one is making way too much gonna head to the refinery put it only on 24 because we already have our buffer inside that buffer tank and uh, I think it's gonna be just fine I don't know if we're gonna use the sulfuric acid and some other things need it build it whatever we're gonna overclock it at that time but at this point leaving it with a big production like that ain't gonna be good because it's gonna stop at some point so 24 in here only 24 in here please 25 to account for the water which is lost at each save that guy will get filled up 24 more than enough it's gonna be just fine it's gonna be just amazing i'm telling you yeah already had some stock amazing this pipe it's almost full if not full guys i think we finished with the build of our nuclear power plan we put down two power plants both of them combined are giving us look at that beautiful smoke 
are giving us 5000 megawatts everything you could ask for it's just amazing we will not have issues with the power for the rest of this game until we finish it i think we are solved we could leave it like that with the nuclear waste getting in there uh collecting i could put another million boxes in there and just forget about it or we could choose to sink them i don't know a lot of work but i'm gonna see what it takes to do that we already have some of materials in here for sure i will need to tap into that bauxite in there uh maybe some oil in there i don't remember what else but it's pretty complex nevertheless this episode has been long enough thank you all so much for being here for watching this uh i will see you guys into the next one well i don't know exactly what we're gonna do into the next one but that's a totally different story so yeah thanks again take care of yourselves i'll see you into the next one Bye-bye.